Hello and welcome back to the Movies Archives. This is your host, Movies Rex, and we are playing the Refugee to Regent Challenge using the Feed the Beast Infinity Mod Pack plus a whole heck of a lot of mods. All right, for the mod today, I think we are going to get started uh, doing a little blood magic work here. So what I think is we're going to take this upper level here, or this bridge level, and we're going to change it out. We're going to remove uh, the, well, the supports here, the uh, railing that we have here. Uh, basically, blood magic is one of the final magics that we uh, have yet to uh, tackle uh, on our trek around all our mod packs here. And just use this up, reuse this as something of a floor. Uh, this is just going to be a small altar as opposed to a, like a full altar system. This is only going to be used for uh, uh, self-sacrifice instead of full sacrifice. Um, so it should be enough to have the level tier 1 and tier 2. Might not need tier 3 um, for all of this. Uh, definitely not tier 4 and tier 5. Uh, anything that requires tier 4 and tier 5 will probably do out in the world somewhere, and it's becoming nighttime. Well, that's fine. Um, do we have enough light up here? No, we do not. Make sure we light this place up, preferably with stone lanterns. All right, back to our platform. I think what we're gonna do is actually add a little bit more decoration before we get down to the uh, meat of this. Haha, <laughs> meat, because you need meat for what I want to do. Uh, you will, I want to make some bloodstained blocks, just like so. So what do these look like? This is a railcraft, railcraft, yeah, railcraft, um, block, and that actually looks pretty good for our. That looks almost exactly like the um, blood stone, large bloodstone brick, uh, large bloodstone, yeah, large bloodstone brick, a um, little bit darker. So that's actually pretty good for uh, this little starter area here that we have going on. Let's try just wrapping that around here just for now. And just remove the corners. So we have a lot of these bloodstone bricks that we can use later. Uh, but for now, I think that should do us. Uh, what's next? Well, we'll put the altar on top of this bloodstained br block. Bloodstained block. Not bloodstone brick, bloodstained block. Um, just for now. Uh, because we will have a tier 2 altar down here, we'll probably want to... Actually, we'll probably want to move that into the floor so that we can get around uh, when the altar gets put in. So maybe... Just like that and that. Uh, that actually that looks kind of good. All right. And we'll just do that on the corner. It's just adding a little couple b blocks here. Uh, just so that we don't fall off. And this gives us a nice little separation. Actually, I think our altar can come down out this way eventually if we really want it to. Um, we won't do that just yet. Uh, we'll just start with a basic altar. Now, the basic altar is... Where are you? Furnace. Stone. Uh, is it a cup of gold and a diamond? Just like that. Basic blood altar. It's like so. Blunk. Uh, that's going to be a problem having it up there like that for now. But we will have a tier 2 altar in no time, right? Uh, we need to make a sacrificial knife. I need more glass. I had some glass cooking up here just for this purpose. There we go. Glass, gold, and iron. Makes us a sacrificial knife. Uh, what do we need for our first blood orb? A diamond. So we probably want to get a second diamond here. Precious diamonds right now. Uh, don't We have no automated mining system or anything like that just yet. So diamonds are pretty precious at the moment. So, just a little prick. Not that. There we go. Little bit woozy. Just needs 2,000. Think you get a 1,000 from 
think you get a thousand from your full. I think you get two thousand from your full life. So if I wait a bit and then cut a little bit more, this should drain the entire thing and give me that diamond back, or give me uh, the blood orb for basic blood magic. Nope, not enough. Uh, I'm gonna take that back just because we're dying here. We're dying here. Um, it's gonna heal up, do this a couple times, and then get our blood orb. All right, I've been actually working on some stuff that uh, doesn't involve. I got rune crafting. More of the world becomes visible to you. I'm trying to get uh, some stuff working with Chromaticraft so that we can get these crystal lamps. And that recipe there didn't work a second ago. Huh. All right. So crystal lamps are actually interesting in that they can replace the uh, your lighting sources in world. So there we go. A little red crystal lamp here. I'm going to put a green one over here. Uh, by making stuff in, in Chromaticraft, uh, you level up your abilities. Did I? What did I do with the green one? I guess I didn't take it out of the chest. Uh, you level up your abilities and you find out more of the world. We saw... Is it in here? No. Um, we saw we had that little rune crafting thing. Uh, it wasn't working a second ago. I just upgraded to 7F, I believe it is. Um... So I guess I had to break the casting table and place it down. It's been a while since we touched uh, chromatic Chromaticraft. Oh, I love this. You can actually set these up to um, make a particular noise based on the uh, redstone signal, I think it is. Um, so this... If we had... Yeah. If we had cobble, which I can make. So instead of using note blocks... Oops, I'm not there. Instead of using note blocks, yeah, that one's always the same signal. But instead of using note blocks, if you use, like, um, something that adjusts... Instead of using note blocks, if you have something that modifies the uh, redstone signal, uh, you can actually get these to play music, because if you hit these, you'll hear... All sorts of, uh, all sorts of tunes coming out of there. Alright, let's see if we can get this, uh... Blood orb made now. There we go, finally. Blood orb is made. Now you have to bind this to yourself, so right click. Crap. <laughs> oh. At least I was just sleeping next door. Alright, so you do have to not kill yourself when you do that. <laughs> oh, I think I had so many levels. Oh, right. And there's my tomb. Ah, my zombie! <laughs> Let me get my stuff back. Ah, uh, what a day. Didn't expect to fight a zombie inside my own house because of breaking my own tomb, but, you know, stuff happens. Potato. Let's get this armor on. All right. Funny stuff. Uh, is this bound to me now? Yes, current owner, Mobius Rex. And now you could hurt yourself more <laughs> if you don't pay attention to your health. Uh, let's put that here. Uh, and my pick, don't forget that. Uh, you could hurt yourself more, and that'll actually put essence into your blood magic network so you can do stuff and things uh, one of the things you can do uh, with blood magic is make slates and that's just by putting stone on your blood altar and it becomes a slate blank slate blank slates are useful they can be used in various amounts of things uh, lava sigils for example or speed runes some stuff with magic. You can make the blood litters pack. Uh, this will actually start with this will actually collect blood uh, as you wear it. And so you can walk around without having to do with what I did and like 
hurt yourself with the uh, sacrificial knife up here. You can actually just walk around and it'll collect uh, life points for you and you can put the blood levers pack in there and it will drain into the altar. Just have to put this Chromatocraft stuff away. Just so we don't lose it. And put our magnetization ring on. Just so we don't lose other stuff. But one of the other things you can make are sigils. Some of them are water. Like this water sigil. Uh, divination is going to be useful. So I think we're going to make a divination and a water sigil. Water lets, basically lets you make infinite spring. Uh, infinite springs wherever you want. Uh, and a sigil of holding. They will require an imbued slate, which is a, on a tier 3 altar. Uh, we won't get that get to that today. Um, but we will definitely make a water sigil. And an imbued slate. We're going to need a lot more buckets. So we'll just start up with um, what we can make. Which is blank slate. Divination. Now this will tell you what's how much. Oops, give me that back. This will tell, me, tell you how much is in your uh, life network. So our current SS is 1,200. And what's in? If we point it at the the blood altar, it'll tell you how much is in there and how much it can hold. Uh, the capacity is 10,000 in the altar itself. Uh, I think my life network. I'm not sure what the capacity is. A lot more than what we currently have. Um. Yeah, so I'm going to make up a couple more slates and be right back. Well, the one thing you could say about our uh, blood altar area is that it's definitely distinctive up here. Uh, so for... Oops, let's not die. For the uh, water slate, for the uh, water sigil. That's lead. We need some iron. We need... Two buckets on me. There you go. Six buckets of water should do. Just need to get the water. All right, water buckets. There we go. And watered sigil. It gives us all our buckets back. And now, if we bind it to herself by right-clicking, I'm just going to do this down and out here. Um, it becomes useful if you ever need to place water. So you can see that. Water. 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 Self-sustaining water. <laughs> uh, pick it up with a bucket to get rid of it still. And there we go. Making water with blood. Nice. Um, so you will have noticed, if I use Divination Sigil, that my essence went down. Uh, it probably goes down by about 100 every time I do it. Yeah, so take 100 doing that. So if we use too much, one, and do it one more time, we're apparently allowed. There we go. Notice that? We got a little blip. We got hit by something. So that was the side effect of using too much blood magic. Now I'm using the Falcon figs right now. Um, we can modify that, I think, to make us woozy, and hopefully, uh, won't kill us inadvertently. All right, what time do we have? Ooh, I've been recording a little bit longer than I expected. Uh, I've got to figure out the Chromatocraft stuff. I actually want to get more of that working, uh, because in order to work with Chromatocraft, you need to, um... You need to basically uh, level up your crafting skills, so making these different uh, lamps and stuff like that will help out. Um, allowing you to progress a little bit further. There's also some entries here I hadn't seen before. Crystal stone, old magic structure found, been built to the stone, and a few other things. I don't know that I've leveled up or not, but... Um, it's hard to tell. These pages still don't give us anything. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting indeed. So you could build crystal runes from crystalline stone and Kuro shards. Or these glowy shards, which give us a different type of rune? No. They look the same. Or they give us 16 for whatever this... It looks like some type of charged shard. Huh. 
Huh. Lubin lamps. Scatter these around the base, and you have a network of lights that can be remotely controlled with a flick of a switch. That might be interesting. Mounting a crystal shard on the base of some other material creates a stylish light whose variability... Huh. How do we make this? Stone and coral? I want to see this. Um, black, red. Let's see what we have the most of right now. We have the most of green, so we'll do that. So what was it? It was green and a stone. That gives us that. And... Just get that and get 16 of these stone-based... Kijani. Oh! Ooh! Ooh! Ah! <laughs> So that's that. Does it replace lighting? Hold on. I guess that spot's a little too bright. Right now. What's lighting that? Nothing. All right. Yep, that replaces lighting. Ooh. <laughs> Can I break those easily enough? Yes, I can. Nice. I like these. I think what I'm going to be doing is redecorating our place. Uh, off camera, hopefully. Oh, I like this. Oh, you can just touch it and it breaks. Okay, that's fine. It does not turn up as an item in your hand or my hand is missing. What's going on? My hand missing? Does not turn up as an item in your hand, so that's different. Doesn't render? Doesn't render. Huh. Oh wait, it does. Kind of. Sort of. Huh. But it doesn't render 3D-ish. Like most other things. Alright. Well, I like that. I really like that. Oh. Oh, I love that. Okay. Okay, thank you, Rika. I really, really like the glow. <laughs> well, for now, this has been Mobius Rex from Mobius Archives. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, leave us a like, leave us your comments and suggestions. We'll be back with you next time. Have a good day and a wonderful night. Bye-bye.